Falls. It can best be described as the American side of Niagara Falls, which in comparison is a smaller waterfall that lies far to the left of the Horseshoe Falls and is located between Prospect Point and Luna Island. According to scientific study and historical research, it has been concluded that the American Falls will eventually transform into a succession of descending rapids due to natural forces of erosion. The high flow rate of water causes the fall of large sections of bedrock from the American Falls which is composed of soft shale and limestone. Though the height of the American Falls is higher than the Canadian counterpart, no daredevil ever preferred to go over the American Falls. All stunts were performed from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls, which is more popular with its immense water flow rate and shape. The height of the American Falls stands at 180 feet or 56 meters high. Its crest line, 1,075 feet or 328 meters wide. Its water flow, 75,000 gallons or 8,800 meters per second. And a recent notable rockfall. In 1954, a large section broke off and fell near the end of Prospect Point. Next is Bridalville Falls. The smallest of the three waterfalls, it is located on the American side, just to the right of the American Falls, separated by Luna Island. Goat Island is much larger and separates the American and Bridalville Falls from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. The height of Bridalville Falls is 181 feet or 55 meters and remains the smallest waterfall compared to its two counterparts. Canadian side of Niagara Falls, with the highest flow rate and natural beauty located between Goat Island and Table Rock, is known as the Horseshoe Falls. As a natural wonder of the world, the Horseshoe Falls name derives from the crescent or horseshoe shape of the crest line, and the city of Niagara Falls and all its natural beauty continues to be a holiday spot for millions of visitors from all over the world each year. Geological studies and the history of Niagara Falls indicate that thousands of years ago, the falls were located 11 kilometers downriver from its current location. Erosion was a major issue associated with the Canadian average rate of erosion for Niagara Falls was as much as one meter per year until the early 1950s. Since then, the water diversion channels and canals used for generating electricity have decreased the water flow, reducing the erosion of Niagara Falls, and to this day, Niagara Falls remains a clean and significant source of hydroelectric power. There are over 500 waterfalls in the world taller, but Niagara Falls is the biggest waterfall in the world for volume of water flowing at an average of 750,000 gallons per second. Niagara Falls interesting facts include the white foam floating on the water is dissolved limestone and is created naturally due to the massive erosion forces of falling water. The height of the Canadian Falls is 170 feet or 52 meters. Mm -hmm.